month with our conversation with Ethel around education. The question now is, what kind of grade 12s is Zambia producing? Are our grade 12 graduates mediocre or are they actually up to international standards? We once prided ourselves on having a really great um, education system, but what do we think of the people coming out of grade 12 nowadays? Mm. Unfortunately, I think um, that Ethel is there for a reason. Mm -hmm. When we spoke to her a little earlier on, we realized that she is doing things for her students that they weren't having done for them in the other systems, be it the government systems, because she said farm workers, children, right? So they weren't going to private schools. They don't have but the ability. Does it matter even these days if it's a private school or a public school? I, think, school? I think some private schools are good, and I think some private schools are not so good. Mm -hmm. And I, I do, unfortunately, strongly feel uh, that we churn out half-baked adults, yeah. individuals. And there's so many random adults. private schools these days. It's yes. like you can just put one yeah. together, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and no, I think, I mean, I totally agree with you, and I think it's, it's so critical for us to be asking what is the grade 12s churning out because mm -hmm. now we're looking at mm -hmm. it's election time, mm -hmm. there's this big grade 12 all equivalent um, clause, mm -hmm. and for me it's like, well, I don't think our standards of grade 12 are that high. Why is that going to be the minimum level of the people run in this country? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about I people can't read, yeah. they, can't they can't write. I think the idea was, uh, uh, Kathy, yeah. that if they had a grade 12, they should and would be able oh, to read, read and write. The three yeah. R's, reading, yeah. writing, arithmetic. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Can I just ask, what do we expect from a grade 12 in Zambia? Critical and thinking. Critical, critical thinking, thinking. Yeah. reading, writing, arithmetic, mm -hmm. so that when the constitution is written, mm -hmm. you are understand. able to understand it mm -hmm. And, and apply it. Yeah. And apply it And correctly. not just the constitution, but every, every act of parliament. Yeah. Yeah. Act well, of, yes, yeah. 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 acts of yeah. parliament. Yeah. I think the big syllabus and oh, curriculum yeah. in it's Zambia is it's fantastic. fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I went to uh, a convent that was then uh, led into government schooling. Mm -hmm. So I went to government school. And I think the curriculum was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think teachers, yeah. maybe, I don't know. I think the standard of teachers has really dropped. Yes. Yes. I remember I went to the same school as Alex and we had expatriate teachers. I'm not saying that expatriate teachers are better than Zambian teachers, but mm -hmm. there was a mix, you know. Yeah. My English teacher taught me how to eat, how to speak English properly. I was able to say Christopher and not Christopher, you know. Yes. So things like that. And it's not even just about mm -hmm. accent, because mm -hmm. I, I just want yeah. to be clear that it's not about accent. Uh, not yeah. at all. Yes, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. of us here, mm -hmm. you know, have Okay, except maybe Alex. <laughs> How <laughs> about <laughs> a different accent? It's yeah. not about accent because accent is okay, but it's about sentence structure. It's about things that make sense. But it's also about comprehension. Yes. yes. I think that that's the yes. thing is that when you were taught like a sentence structure, you mm -hmm. had to deconstruct yes. that sentence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whereas now you can't. And you know, I always make these jokes mm -hmm. about, is it a Zambian apparently, or is mm -hmm. it really apparently? Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're just words that are used in the yeah. wrong context. I mean, context. today, sorry Alex, today I saw a post from one of my cousins who's got quite a good job in mm -hmm. one of the government ministries. Mm -hmm. And he wrote, oh, I'm seated, mm. S-I-T-T-E-D, instead yeah. of seated, S-E-A-T-E-D. -E yes. And this is our Unza grant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I was just thinking, we don't even know. Mm. But guys, yeah. sorry to cut you short, Shelby. Mm. Is it necessarily about English? Because let's face it, English is the language that we are speaking in the towns. Mm. English is the international language that we're expected to comply to, to be on international levels, and let's face it, we're a landlocked country, we deal with other countries. It came by boat, we, uh, by bus, right? It's not what you, you know, yeah. there's no not boat that boat. lands in yeah, yeah. 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 the Lake Tanganyika. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a language that, yes, we, we must master. However, when we go rural, and let's face it, most of Zambia is rural, mm -hmm. um, the vernacular, or what we term as a vernacular, which is actually the language of the land, mm -hmm. Isn't it important too to have people who are able to converse, write, because a lot can converse. Mm -hmm. I can speak Chinyanja, mm -hmm. my Bemba's not so good, mm -hmm. my Tonga's not so good. Mm -hmm. Can I write in those languages? No. But I'm 
not to expect okay, you know, to okay, but for me, it comes back to the basis. It's critical thinking. Yeah. It's comprehension. I don't care what so language So if I speak in. a member and I live in a rural uh, setting and I'm able to be a counselor in that rural setting, so, so long as I can articulate and get across, right? Yeah, is that what that's what saying? I'm saying. And you that's can comprehend what I can. whatever <laughs> comes yeah. from... Whatever is written, whatever legislature is yeah. written, whatever. Yeah. I don't care what language you used to speak, but you have to be but able then to comprehend also, and understand what's going Also, called. coming back to what Ethel was saying, because I was listening in as you were speaking to her, what she's saying is that, look, well and good, but these children are being examined in, in English. English. No, it's true. Yeah. So Very we true. can talk vernacular till the cows come home, but if you're going to sit an English exam that is probably going to be marked across the board, probably yeah. abroad in the UK somewhere, maybe Cambridge Examination Board or whoever. And you're put on the same level and as you're those put, Exactly, yeah. right? So then how do you... I think that's where the discrepancy now is now that's beginning true. to show. Yeah. Because, because you're being assessed on the level of the, of the people who are marking you who, live, who don't even live in Zambia, probably. Because yeah. in other countries, everything is in... I mean, I worked in Korea, and you learn in Korean because everything is in Korean. Korean. Yeah. You go to work in Korean. Yeah. So if you decide then that we will learn in Nyanja and Bemba and Tonga and Lozi, and we will work in those languages, yeah. then that's okay, another but, discussion. However, the, the whole point behind that was for early learning. So it's yeah. before you get to the grade sevens, the grade nines, which mm -hmm. are in English. Mm -hmm. So it's just to, because that early learning is so critical. Yeah. The mm -hmm. I, idea behind it important. was, mm -hmm. you know, let them understand what they're learning they through their mother it? tongue and then mm -hmm. slowly introduce English. Mm -hmm. But for me, it comes back to if my teaching style mm -hmm. is just read what I've written on the board mm -hmm. and memorize mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what Can language you're mm -hmm. telling me it. Throw in a devil's advocate there, um, and I'll probably get shot down for this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Is it convenient for our authorities to have us be half baked? Because then we can't challenge them because we are not critical thinkers. Yeah, because they're half baked. <laughs> <laughs> Conspiracy theory. No, 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 no I, I but worldwide, no, no, worldwide, yes. this is said. Mm. This is said. Um, let's educate people mm. enough to understand what they are reading. So mm. I pick I up a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. I can read that. I can regurgitate word for word because I know these letters mm. and this yeah. sequence mm -hmm. mean this, mm -hmm. right? But I'm not educated enough to be a Thinker. Well, that's mm -hmm. the thing, and I'm yeah. not educated enough to question mm -hmm. what I'm given. Mm -hmm. So when we get to points like this and we have this debate about grade 12 mm -hmm. and we have this issue arising about grade 12, um, I think our governments worldwide mm -hmm. and Zambia have required us yeah. to be half-baked because mm -hmm. they don't want... Alexandra, who's going to question Tandiwe, who's going but to I question. But I don't think I don't think it's worldwide. I think it's where countries where the government is seen as all powerful. Yes, you know. Right. But where we find that actually private sector runs mm. this thing, then you want an educated populace. Mm. You know, where you're you seeing that you know, actually where our business, where we're growing from, where it's not just about me. We need educated, educated people. Mm. Yes, you know, it's even like but you look at it. You're like, wait a minute. Africa is going to have the youngest workforce in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is where they're going to be looking for jobs mm -hmm. from the West and everywhere. We have no skills. Yeah. We are not skilled we don't to take advantage to of that table. because our leaders do not want to think about, well, wait, you're talking about in 20 years, I'm not going to be in power. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I care what's going to happen in 20 years? But I, I, I care about what's happening today to my pocket. Yeah. So if it's the teacher, okay, one of, one of the problems mm -hmm. as the teacher, because we already discussed that we feel Maybe that not the curriculum... teacher, but the skill that the teacher mm -hmm. is provided. Okay, mm -hmm. but then were they half trained? Mm -hmm. Yes, you know yes, what I mean? Yes. So is it a knock-on effect? And mm -hmm. how do we end this? Where do we stop? Because, yes, we have Ethel. How many Ethels do we expect to take over the job that we oh. should Government. have as a country yeah. provided for us? Mm -hmm. But for me, I also forget how for many me, Alex, that's where I think parents in the home come in. Yeah? Yes, yeah. If absolutely. If I want my child to have a certain standard of education, I should not just rely on what the school is teaching my child. I should teach my child what I think is what the What if important. you can? Okay, hold on. Yes, I was going to say, what if you think about what Apple you said. Are educated, yeah. You have a university degree, yeah. mm -hmm. all of this, wonderful. What if you can't? What if you, what don't if you are the, 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 the nanny that can't even 
who right. only went up to grade nine. And, then and you're not even a real grade nine. This is what you should be doing in grade 12. Mm -hmm. How is she supposed yeah. to know? But no, some, some of these nannies, mm -hmm. let's call it, well, mm -hmm. it's broad spectrum, want better for their children. Yeah. They know what they want. Yeah. They know where yeah. they want their child to be and mm -hmm. where to get. They don't know how to well, exactly. read and write and arithmetic at home. Mm -hmm. They don't know what is nannies. Even degree holders don't yeah, know. I, know, right? you know? Yeah. I, I, I shared a story with you guys the other day when we were having conversations. Uh, I was in grade three, and my grandma came to, to visit. Hiya, mama. <coughs> Hi, mama. <laughs> and she helped me with my equations. And what she was showing me made sense. My grandmother was born in the 1920s, 19, late 1920s. Um, she was on, of an era and a time. All she was expected as a woman, and again, we, you know, education as women is, is a whole different Another kettle of fish. Yeah. Um, as a woman, she was expected to be able to get married, to take care of the home. Uh, in those days with colonialism, mixed race women, mm -hmm. coming from an Ngoni mother and a white English father, her highest attainment was to be a nanny and mm -hmm. to travel with a white family to mm -hmm. Salisbury or wherever else they would go. But she was expected to be able to add up the money mm -hmm. to do the groceries. Mm -hmm. So her teaching me how to do my equations that they made complete sense mm -hmm. to me. <laughs> and I thought, yay, I'm gonna go into class and I'm gonna get a good grade. And geez, it was wrong, wrong, <laughs> wrong, 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 wrong. So there was a woman who was trying to help her grandchild and thought she knew yeah. and was doing the best she could, yeah. mm -hmm. but was unable because she wasn't given the tools. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we can go on about this forever, ladies. Where do we start as Zambians, as women in Zambia? Where do our viewers, where do the people watching this make a difference for themselves if they are not able to help their children? Where do we start? Do we go to the schools? Do we riot? Do we no, what not do we even do riot. Again? We don't. How? We don't actually, no, it's not even rioting. We petition we, our governments. That's yes, what I'm yes. Say because because we also to accept. A we also accept. Education and if system. we're not okay, we will work really hard and try to find money and send our kids to a private school, whether it's the private school in the compound or the the most expensive international school and that's not the that is not an answer no, yeah. for me yeah, exactly. just if i choose to send my child to international school and i'm lucky enough to do so that's a choice mm -hmm. it should in zambia i feel like it's a necessity yeah. we have no choice mm -hmm. that's why you find all these little private schools you know popping up all over the place because they don't have a choice and then if i do go to a government school there's 60 kids However, in the classroom mm -hmm. I also feel that there are very few people, even in private schools, who are setting up these private schools because they're like for Apple, the right they're like the volunteers yeah. who yeah. actually care it's about vocation, education. Yeah. It's yeah. much more about money. there is money, money to be made in education because yeah. they and really are. There is. There is. So can, there I is. Ask, mm -hmm. can I please ask if there is money to be made? Why isn't the government doing this and making the because money? Because like I they feel used to. Mm -hmm. well. Because Did really, the for government, they shouldn't be making money, money because no, education should be free. Well, it's from education should be free. Money. But my point is, way of thinking, no, no, but no, I do no. think education should be free for a country like for Zambia. public school, you have it to. should be free. Uh, certainly, That's early why you have grade school. up to mm. grade nine, I feel it ha it should be mm. free. Right. But um, I think it comes back to what we were talking about: the difference between educators, teachers, etc. Mm. People who are in Ministry of Education mm. should be educators. Mm. Yeah. They should be people who care about see it an mm. education, mm. an educated populace. Yes. That's what it should be. Yes. But again, I've worked with Ministry of Education, so I also know that there are a thousand and one other challenges which mm. comes back to teachers don't see it as a vocation. Mm -hmm. It's a job. Mm -hmm. It's a job. It's yeah. a I'm going to get ahead. paid whether you pass or fail, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get paid. And Actually, whether I show it, up or not, yeah. you're going to yeah. get paid. Yeah. And the ones who you do know. see it as a vocation, the challenges are just enormous, overwhelming. Yes. overwhelming. overwhelming. You've got 60 kids in the class. Mm -hmm. Even if 30 of them have a learning disability or are struggling, you don't have the time. Mm -hmm. you, you just focus maybe on those 10 that actually show right. up, yeah. number one, mm -hmm. yeah. and actually do their work. And maybe have parents who seem to care a little bit and you're like okay you know what if i've got these 10 mm. i'm gonna focus on these 10 because mm. i just don't have the time to focus on the other 50. Yeah. Mm -hmm. how but many of us get to grade 12? 
when you should. Well, I always find like it's a pyramid thing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Think about it. There's so many pr uh, primary schools. Cool. Yes. Yeah. We have two universities. Yeah. What does that tell you? Nobody is expecting half well, of the people to really get to university to anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have quite a yeah. few now. I don't, I don't it, count though. those other those ones. Those are private universities. But I'm talking about even I'm talking about government, uh -huh. even in terms of primary school, yeah. I'm talking about government. Mm -hmm. We invest a lot in primary schools. Mm -hmm. And you know, you see, oh, they've launched this primary school, yeah. whatever. Basic schools Basic all schools, over you the know, country. We get that, but it gets mm -hmm. Smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So there is already an expectation that half AG1 is not going to go very far. Mm -hmm. Or even But I, I still feel we've got to hold government accountable. And Absolutely. it still starts with government. Mm -hmm. It's all well and good for yeah. us yeah. and people like Ethel to mm -hmm. say, I'm going to start my own little foundation, mm -hmm. my own community school and whatever. Mm -hmm. That's not our responsibility. Yeah. That's a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. But if we take all the responsibility away from, from government, government yeah. What's the point of Also, I, I think we have to remember that an educated population stimulates the economy. Mm -hmm. Yes, we, we but you missed <laughs> Alex's point. Alex they also say. question the leadership. No, they do. So Absolutely which is more do. important? Well, and that's the problem. Well, this is where, this <laughs> is, and just to reiterate your point, this is where in more developed countries, the economy is driven by the private sector and by entrepreneurs. We keep asking ourselves, why are there no entrepreneurs? Why don't we have SMEs? Did anybody teach somebody yeah. that they can, can go to school and start their own business if they're good at something, yeah. instead of just teaching us to, to pass the exam so we can get a job? job. Mm -hmm. but in, in addition to that, if you compare the education system here and the education system in the UK, and I can only talk about the UK because I was educated in the UK. If you go to a private school in the UK, they teach you that. They teach you to think outside the box. They Is teach you, no, not a public school, okay. no. In a, in, a, in a private school in the UK, they will tell you that you can be an entrepreneur. You don't have to have the standard job of lawyer or doctor or blah, blah. You can be anything you want to be. They, they zone into your skill sets mm -hmm. and they feel that as a teacher, if your class is failing or if a student is failing, you. it's you Who who's the got teacher. the problem as the teacher. Well, that's the other thing is we don't well, hold people important. accountable. Yeah, I think that's we important. don't hold people accountable and there's yeah. no ownership. Yeah. Why is education and health so low? As a priority. When, yeah. when yeah. if we have a healthy populace mm -hmm. and an educated, an educated population, populace, mm -hmm. Then so they what don't if need we you. question the government? Yes. Well, they should be what? doing what they're supposed to be if doing. If you were doing your job right yeah. in the right yeah. first place, sorry, yeah. I get very passionate about this. Yeah. Oh, we can see. <laughs> oh Lord, you know it's yeah. it's it 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 just gets then my goat. Because people would not be able to just keep their jobs doing nothing. Yeah. Well, I think okay. So we need to wrap this segment up, but I do want to say that I still think that. Again, it comes back to your individual responsibility. What is government's policy on education? Yeah. What is the opposition's policy on mm -hmm. education? Mm -hmm. We need to start questioning these Absolutely. things. Because, you know, we need a population yeah. that is educated, whether yeah. it's for running the country, mm -hmm. whether it's for businesses to thrive. Mm -hmm. Even it's just, just for you personally mm -hmm. to thrive. What happened mm -hmm. to all the tertiary colleges? What happened to somebody leaving, maybe they weren't able to attain a grade 12 because mm -hmm. they weren't they able, able to. Or whatever the reason. Yeah. They were not academic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what happened to teaching them to be a carpenter, carpenter yeah. a plumber, plumber. Yeah. Uh, yeah. a yeah. textile? Yeah. Well, th those are things trade schools, I think, not Tra tertiary. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> well, whatever I'm getting so passionate <laughs> about it, I'm mixing up my words. But you know what else? Yeah, yeah we know. Yeah. Also, it will reduce our dependency on expats. Yeah. Yes. yes. And aid. Uh, pardon? And aid. And, and aid. aid. Yeah. And if yeah. we can have, imagine aid. we can actually and have even government. organization and, and government. The government must Which do is this for us. No. Yes. <laughs> but it, imagine if we could actually have the top yeah. 50 Zambian companies 100% run by Zambians. They might be Zambian, but I guarantee you they're not 100% run by Zambians. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. Because why but do you say we don't have the skills? Yeah. And we don't have time to discuss this, but I do want to bring Tandy quickly in because she had that question about what is education. Mm -hmm. Can someone tell me what is education? Ooh, what is education? What, 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 what is does it mean for you to say I am educated? Because personally, I don't yeah. feel that you need to go to school, school. to get an education. Yeah. No, I you really don't. But you have to so be able to think. University of Walk and Seymour. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel I, mean, like, I would definitely put, I would say I'd rather employ someone who has 
Critical 30 years thinking. of experience in yeah. this area than mm -hmm. say, well, I'm going to hire somebody who has a degree. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, like, it depends because, on the situation, I yeah. think. I think it does, but my point is that sometimes we get so bogged down with this piece of paper without saying, well, that's, well what, what exactly can you do? Can you do? It's critical, th right. critical thinking, yeah. having ownership for whatever it is you do, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and also just not being mm -hmm. mediocre. Mm -hmm. Mediocrity. And actually doing what we're supposed mediocrity to be doing. Mediocrity is something, and I know this is a whole nother conversation. And it's conversation, learned. Mm -hmm. But yeah. mediocrity is something we suffer from badly in Zambia. And I'll just add something to end this. Mm -hmm. um, I work in a place where we have supervisors and managers who are almost afraid to make a decision mm -hmm. uh, and take responsibility because afraid of the consequence. And this mm -hmm. goes back to education. Mm -hmm. If we can explain ourselves, if we yeah. understood and were able to say, and I confidence. did this mm -hmm. because A, B, C, and it might not agree with what you think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. However, this is my reasoning. Mm -hmm. You might be able to turn around and say, well, you know what, Alexandra, mm -hmm. I think you may have had a point there. Might mm -hmm. not be my point, but mm -hmm. you think you may have had a point there. Exactly. And I think that's our a problem beyond grade 12. Mm -hmm. And yes. I think that's a problem mm -hmm. with this whole grade 12 issue. Do we need grade 12, guys? We just need to up the game. Well, on that note, thank you for joining her story. And we look forward for you joining us again next time. Um, don't forget to find us on Twitter and Facebook, hashtag her story. This is her story.